hello today in this lecture i am going to discuss more about matrix used in software engineering in previous video i discussed three matrices that are lines of source code mcaps matrix and hal state matrix today i am going to discuss two more matrix that are function points and feature points now focusing on function points function points were introduced in the late 1970s as an alternative to matrix based on simple source line count means what function points are appeared to be a solution to the software size measurement problem as lines of source code is also a size measurement matrix but this function point is an alternative to lines of source code matrix means what happens in function point the function present in the program like input functions output functions internal functions if you want to deliver a product so how many functions that is going to be undertaken that is we are going to calculate here in this function point the basis of function points is that as more powerful programming languages are developed the number of source lines of lines necessary to perform a given function decreases in simple word we can see that function point is a unit of measurement to express the amount of business functionality and information system provides to user okay next a significant advantage of function point matrix is that it can be calculated before any coding occurs totally based on the design description means there are different or many advantages of this function points the most important one is estimate development effort is possible in earlier phase right and the next important one is what it is independent of language as i told in lines of source code it depends on what programming language and this function point is what independent of programming language means what for example if you want to write a code for swapping two variables and if you are writing it in a c programming language you have to write some lines of code if you write that in a python programming programming language then you have to write only one line of code right so this function point is what independent of language Th these are what different advantages of function points now let us see the characteristics of function points there are five characteristics of function point and these characteristics are divided into two functions which are types of function points actually there are two types of function points data points and uh, functions and transaction function now data function means what data functions are made up of internal and external resources that are that affects the system and are of two type number of files used or internal logic files and number of external interfaces let us see first number of files used internal file logic file is a user identifiable group of logically related data that resides entirely within the application boundary means what internal logic file is uh, the um, primary intent of this internal logic file is what is to hold data maintained through one or more processes of applications in simple words we can say that internal logic file it is internally managed and has some logical structure and it is stored in file okay the next one is number of external interfaces external interface file is also a user identifiable group of logically related data that is used by the application for reference purpose only means the data resides entirely outside the application boundary and it is maintained in an internal logic file by another application means the simple meaning of this external interfaces is what it is externally maintained an interface has to be developed to get the data from file okay the next type of function point is what transaction function 
transaction function are made up of the processes that are exchanged between the user and the external applications and that are of three types number of input files number of output files and number of user inquiries the first one is what number of input files it is a transaction function in which the data goes into the application from outside boundary to inside okay this data is coming external to application the data may be come come from coming from data input screen or another application simply how an application get gets the information okay so the data can be either control information or business information the next one number of outputs it is also a transaction function in which data comes out of the system means data creates the reports or output files sent to other applications then third one external inquiries it is also a transaction function with both input and output components that results in data retrieval okay next let us see how this function point is calculated there are two steps first one calculate the unadjusted function point and second one calculate adjusted function point now consider empirical weighting factors for each aspect that reflects their relative difficulty in implementation if we can take the example here we are taking one set of weighting factor for particular kind of system might yield the function point which is unadjusted function point and it is calculated using formula 4i plus 4o plus 5q plus 10f means what 4 into number of input files plus 4 into number of external files or output files plus 5 into number of user inquiries plus 10 into number of files used plus 7 into number of external interfaces right once once you have calculated an adjusted function point you have to calculate adjusted function point now the weights given in the unadjusted function point could be adjusted experimentally to take into the account factors such as particular application domain and software developers experience right so adjusted function point can be calculated using the formula summation of ai into wi into 0.65 plus 0.01 into summation of fj where wi is what weighting factors fj is nothing but what complexity adjustment factors and ai is item counts right now for calculating complexity adjustment factors a set of 14 questions were answered by the software engineers with responses from a scale 0 to 5 where 0 indicates no influence 1 indicates identical 2 indicates moderate 3 indicates average 4 indicates significant and 5 indicates essential now uh, out of those 14 questions if we take two questions for our consideration does the system require reliable backup and recovery here i have assigned fourth scale that is significant because a critical system obviously requires a reliable backup and recovery right then second question are data communication required between the required then i have assigned fifth scale that is essential because because there is a communication between between various components of the system over different databases so it is essential right so i have assigned fifth scale so like this by taking these scales or responses of 14 questions and using the weighting factors the function point can be calculated by substituting these values into the formula and the answer is 223 the function point calculated here is 223 okay then next metric is feature points feature points are an extension of function points developed by software productivity research in 1986 
feature points address the fact that function points metric was developed for business information systems and hence is not particularly applicable to real time systems it means what it is the feature point is the superset of function point major that can be applied to systems and engineering software applications so feature points are used in those application in which algorithm complexity is high like real time systems okay the feature point metric is computed in similar manner to to the function function point except that a new term of number of algorithms a is added the feature points are computed by counting the number of domain values and are weighed by only one single weight so it includes another measurement parameter that is algorithm so here again i'm taking the same example which we have taken in function points using those same weighting factors here the feature point bar can be calculated using the formula 3i plus 4o plus 5q plus 5 4f plus 7x plus 7a here at the last the algorithm parameter complexity algor algorithm parameter is added to calculate the feature point thank you